We're back at you in Gloves Off, and today we have a special guest, a young lady that has run for politics here in Laredo, Texas, that she's going to come out here and voice her opinions on the happenings of Laredo. Good morning, Ms. Annette Banugli. How are we doing today? Good morning, Paul. How are we doing? doing? great. Thank you for having me. Let's uh, touch base on what you've done, what you think, and what's coming up in the near future for you. Well... What can I say, Paul? I've been swimming in a shark tank. That's all I have to say. Um, it's difficult. However, I will not give up. And I'm, I don't quit. I'm not a quitter. And I'm going to fight until, until the day I die. I'm always going to do what's right. I'm always going to fight for what's right. And I'm always going to have zero tolerance for corruption. Good words. Now, about Laredo. Okay, you ran for city council, mm -hmm. and uh, you lost to Mr. Vidal. Oh, um, no, what's his name? Mr. Vidal? I came in third. You came in third? Yeah. Okay. What happened then? What went wrong, um, in your opinion? Well, I believe that cri a crime, well, no, a crime was committed against me, and I fought very, very hard to ensure that he got a conviction and he did he has a conviction uh he has a criminal record now i don't thank you jesus i have a clean record uh, but now he has a criminal record my question is what is mr vidal gonna do after uh he, after politics who's gonna hire him um I don't, I it's no very idea. hard to get hired with a criminal background like that well you know we don't wish anybody or a conviction it's a diff yeah, difference. When you have a conviction, it changes matters. Exactly. He has a conviction, which he did on his own. What was, he, a crime, what was, a, what was he convicted of? He was convicted of, of obtaining information and disclosing it to a person not authorized. And the reason Informa why this information of sealed confident records of a dismissed ticket I had when I was 15 years old in high school. I was a student in Alexander High School. I was a star student, a volleyball player. Um, um, I, I, I was a very good student, um, actually. What, what, what occurred? I got in trouble with some of my friends while we were at school. And, of course, um, I was expelled, and I was sent to the Juvenile Justice Education Program. Where that's Jaime Cana, that's J -J -A -P, J-J-A-P, where it used to be when I went... I think they gave me like 180 days. I did two semesters there. Um, I went when they had the facility on Bustamante by the Mercy. By the new Mercy. By the new On the LNC. base. Yes, on the, the base. And the base. Yes, Ed Bueno was the director. Jaime Canales was the principal. And we had some teachers there, some good and some bad teachers. But that was sealed off, and it went forward, and you kept on, and you've done, right. and, and you've lived lived on and done second yeah. chance like everybody needs a yes, second I, chance. Yes, I actually, that situation, I'm the type of person that always turns in a negative situation to a positive. At that young, tender age of 15, what I did while I was there, I, I got nine credits, and by the time I was done, when I was supposed to be a sophomore, I went back to Alexander High School as a senior, and I graduated when I was 16 years old. That makes two of us. Awesome. I pretty much finished high school in two years. Okay. And then I started college immediately, and I graduated, and I got my bachelor's degree when I was 20 years old. Good. Awesome. Now, let's touch, let's touch base. Now, Mr., because I know cause you were very vocal against them changing and removing him because in the charter it state stipulates that if you are convicted of of a crime but actually it says a felony mm -hmm. and of moral interpretude mm -hmm. and many of the councilmen favored no against that and you were very vocal in trying to get him removed well that's since the council favored no what's your opinion against that um, I think that there's certain personal gain with those council members that decided to keep him if we want to go list by list, I could tell you, you know, um, there is word out there um, that he gave them money. So I don't know if it's true. Doesn't surprise me if he bought those people off. Um, I saw somebody post uh, a brand new truck that they gave their parents. Um, that's interesting. 
were, were, was it purchased with the money given to you? Um, I don't well, know. I'm, I mean, it's it's um, it doesn't surprise me. Let me just put it that way. Um, I know that there's personal gain with certain people that are uh, want to run for mayor that are in the council right now. They have voiced that they want to run against the mayor. I think the mayor has done a wonderful job. I love uh, what uh, Mayor Pete Sines represents. He's representing our city very well. And I hear that some of those members uh, want to go up against him. So Current members that we have? Current right members. Now? current members that have voiced that they want to run for mayor um, against Pete Sines. We also have some council members that they're going to term out that their wives are going to run. So it's toda esa conveniencia. ¿Para qué nos hacemos? Okay, let's get real. This is real talk. Those people tienen una conveniencia para to keep him. Okay, here's another thing I want to bring up. Christina Hell has no business or reason being on that count, on, on, as a city assistant attorney. She needs to retire and we need to hire somebody else because that woman has no business in the city okay i do not know miss hale so i could not uh, base an opinion from her just what would you hear what i'm going to talk to you about now is maybe we need to change the ch city charter mm -hmm. and maybe we need to change it and reword what it says because when I looked, when I saw this, I looked and I saw mm -hmm. several of, of the attorney general's opinions and saw that. Who, and it's who basically attorney general? The attorney, Texas attorney general. Some opinions oh, on, he put in, an opinion? in, in no, on oh. moral interpretation oh, okay. and how it goes through. On some some municipalities, they actually spell out each one, and mm -hmm. that's not what's inside that phrase. So maybe we have to actually put it in parentheses. If you stole a lollipop, if you you know took come off come, uh, took off two cookies whatever you mm -hmm. know it has to be spelled out within those little parentheses and it's if it's not there then it's up to whoever mm -hmm. the council is and so, unfortunately this is what happened mm -hmm. so we all have a opinion of what moral interpretude is so we're kind of well, I'm the not district I'm not, if the district attorney said it's it, but the it's district attorney but the and, mayor, listen listen and, to what I have to say the district attorney is not a city councilman so it's up to the city councilman to decide what this is and it's not so the city uh, and I respect uh, our, our district attorney Chilo I've known him since grade school okay we were nine years old together mm -hmm. okay I think he was ten mm -hmm. and uh, what happens is that he's the district attorney fine. But the council is the council of the city. So mm -hmm. a district attorney cannot interfere with them unless mm -hmm. there's a criminal investigation and so forth. So maybe we should change it for that. How about if any councilman or if any city employee mm -hmm. or any department head is under criminal investigation of a crime of moral, not convicted, not arrested, under investigation, because apparently we know the FBI has been running around there snooping. So if it's like that, then maybe we should change the wording for it to f mm -hmm. benefit that. So if, guess what, the FBI comes over and knocks at your door, you just relinquished mm -hmm. your seat. Maybe right. we should change it. That's that a good what, idea. What? Um, but some people may argue, well, you're innocent until proven guilty. I would say anyone convicted, uh, conviction of a crime should automatically relinquish the seat uh, because you've already gone through the through the process and the judge convicted you so I think anyone that's been convicted while employed with the city or while being a city councilman should automatically relinquish their seat you know because under no, that no, that's it no uh, I, I we mean, don't I'm, need criminals or anyone with a criminal conviction especially so publicly the way it was done um, we don't want our children let's go back to the youth do you think it's okay for our kids to say hey if that guy committed a crime then it's okay for me to commit a crime right. and you know what I don't have a degree I'm, I'm just you know I, I don't have nothing yeah, going for me yeah, let what, me go ahead and <laughs> and I have a criminal conviction and, and you know I understand let, let it, me go ahead and, and run go, for counsel and that but that goes back to grade school where everybody, every kid gets a trophy so now you have the kid that trained fast for the race and you have the other kids that didn't really give a darn. They all get a trophy. So what is it going to say? Exactly. It's okay, and it's not okay. It's okay, not okay. So we have to start. To start there. That. There's a bunch of. Yeah. No, I understand your rationale. I mean, he's not the only one that got a conviction. We have a lot of uh, p political officials that have been arrested 
Who's a, who is the, um, I mean, can we name a few? I mean, we have a lot of people that have gotten arrested while holding public office, and that is wrong. Uh, if you want to be the average citizen, go ahead and do whatever you want. But if you want to be a politician, if you want to be a public servant, you have to be held to a higher standard. Bottom line. You know, higher we, standard. We've had that some- means stay away from from. From DWI, stay away from doing cocaine, like we saw Jorge, Jorge Vera. Stay away from taking bribes, like Montemayor did. Stay away from anything illegal. Period. You have to be clean as a whistle. Bottom line: if you're not going to be clean as a whistle, if you're not going to be held to that higher standard, you have no business as a public servant. Why? Because the kids are watching us. That is my main thing i don't want the juve i don't want juveniles thinking it's okay to commit a crime and guess what i get rewarded for it wrong we don't want that understood understood let me ask you another question Mm -hmm. are you planning on running again yes i am and what when is this race going to occur and when is the election I believe it's 2008. At the 2018, um, I am going to run. Like I said, I don't give up. I'm a fighter. No matter if bricks have been thrown at me, I build a stable, firm foundation with every brick that is thrown at me. Haven't I done that? Haven't I proved myself already that if you're going to do something wrong, you're going to... You're, I'm make sure that Annette Ugalde Banugli is you, gonna be on your behind making sure that the consequences follow for those that commit a crime, a crime. for those that do wrong any wrongdoing. And at the end of the day, the decisions that we make don't bring us peace, then it's not the right thing that you no, 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 I understand. But you know, there's in, in council when if you were being a, if let's bring this forward to Annette Banugli sitting mm-hmm. down in council and you had a councilman that came there and he was one that was working with you in projects and they said well guess what he needs to be removed because he committed a crime would you remove him? Of course if he committed a crime and he was convicted I would be very very vocal and loud and adamant that we remove him and maybe that's the problem they see me as a threat they don't want me there they don't like me why because i say zero i don't play i don't play dirty i don't play ball with them and that's gonna hurt my chances i know it is it's gonna hurt my chances of winning but i'm still gonna do it why because i'm a young 32 year old and i have all my life to live to ensure that that those seats get filled with people that have good moral character and are held to the higher standard. Um, I know I have that up against me. I know that there's a lot of council members that are afraid of me. Why not? Be afraid. Be very afraid. If I win, you guarantee, I guarantee you I'm not going to allow any of those shenanigans to be happening. Why? Because this is our community. We love Laredo. Laredo is is a well, very let, very let, rich city and understood. the potential is amazing and yes we're we're going there we're getting there but Here, here's here's one here's one your your husband's border patrol correct yes sir okay how do you feel against with with or for favorable against the wall uh my husband according to him uh, he's on he's protecting the border mm-hmm. and he's on the front line and while so that everybody could sleep soundly Understood. Okay. Um, if my husband doesn't come home one of these days fighting for his country because there wasn't a wall that could have perhaps hold them back, then guess what? What's going to happen? My family will be broken. So he says that walls in certain areas... They or needed. do need. They yeah, do need it in certain areas. And yes, they might find a way to cross, but at least it's going to slow them down. So if it slows them down a little so it could protect our, 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 our cousins, our husbands, our wives at our Border Patrol, the city is, is populated with a lot of federal agents. And, and, and they are protecting and he, and here's something our I'm borders gonna, here's so something that, that you and I could sleep soundly. Um, I sleep soundly because of my conscience. I don't sleep soundly because they're protecting, but I sleep soundly because of my conscience, okay? They do a tremendous job. They do. Okay, and I help a lot of them, especially in the ranches, because uh, yeah. a lot of them find the illegals that are half mm-hmm. dead and so on and so forth. Yeah. So they're, they're more of a search and rescue 
that are out there because of this human trafficking that's going on. It's, well, there's a lot of departments. He, they do a lot. There, it's, certain, it's, there's yeah. details and, and so they have, you know, I know that there is a car chase and LP, LPD puts it on the news, but my husband is in, he goes, there's one every day. Yes. I, I, I They, but the federal agents don't go to the media and say it. They have bailouts every day. Oops, sorry. Every day they have bailouts, and this is uh, second nature to my husband. He has to run, chase them, and, you know, and put them away. Okay. Here's, here's something that I'm going to say. Um, we have, they're great. They're doing great. The Border Patrol mm -hmm. has done a great job in the last couple of years. Yes. This year they've outstanding. Um, mm -hmm. I think they're going to get a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of agents, both federal agents, both uh, for I, uh, for ICE, for mm -hmm. board, BP, Border Patrol, Even all of Homeland Security. Uh, I know my husband, he security. says that he works very well with the sheriffs. Like, they help each other out. They He's mentioned, like, the city doesn't get involved. They don't help. But the county and the, and the federal agents are working as a team. And that's nice to see. It really is nice to see. And to hear my husband say, hey, the sheriffs, the sheriffs have our back. But the, uh, um, that's good. Yeah, it is. It's but, very uh, um, good. What I'm, Teamwork, what, I'm what, what, I'm all about. what I'm trying to say here is this: they don't go vote. Maybe your husband does, but the majority of federal agents that are transplanted to Laredo mm -hmm. do not stand up. Do not go. How out do you know vote. that? The majority do you have don't. Proof? The majority. Do you don't. have reports? Or is I've that talked just your to many. Opinion? I've talked to many in the little Denny's and stuff like that. I say, no, well, yeah, I'm not going to be here for this much. You all have to stand up and vote. Go out there and exercise your right to vote. They do vote. They do vote. Okay. I, they do. That I do know. I, I uh, Maybe the ones you've spoken to haven't, but they, they do go out and vote. They're just not so public about it because they're not supposed to be political. Okay, they can't be political. Let's change they the, sign, you know. Let's change the tune. Now, let's going to go with you. What do you want to change inside the council? What do you think is wrong with the city? The city, Laredo, the municipality, not the city that we all live in. What is wrong with the city of Laredo and its government, the way it's being handled? What's wrong there? I think the mentality. The mentality, we need to be professional. And just because somebody did something to you and said something offensive to you doesn't mean that you're going to retaliate. That is the problem, retaliation. These people are acting like high school children. They're not asking, they're not working together as a team. They're not, and that's what they need. They need to work together, teamwork. It's very simple. So what what I want to bring to the council is teamwork. Let's work together. Um, uh, you know, eight great brains could come up with something fantastic versus, oh, you did that to me. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to take away money from you. Oh, you did this to me. Uh, you know, no, it doesn't work like that. We're not high school children. We're all grown um, people that have a lot of people watching us. So. To me, it's teamwork. Let's work as a team. To me, I think the city councilmen and women out there that we have have no control over a lot of these department heads that have been around, and they have become the master de facto of the city. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? People in the health department, people in the parks district, the people in planning and zoning, engineering. Some of those have to be removed, and they have to mm -hmm. be changed. You know what? You've been here 20 years. You're mm -hmm. still doing the same damn thing. You're still doing the same shenanigans. And, and they do this to the councilman, and the councilman, oh, everything's fine, and they're out there. That's and true. You, you understand, the, and they, there's a type of oppression that goes through there, mm -hmm. okay? And you see it, especially when, when the signs come up in the political races. Mm -hmm. You see the planning and Sony guys come up to you and they say, well, if you don't remove that sign and put the sign on my buddy, we're going to give you a ticket for having that sign. Wait oh, a minute, yeah. buddy. That happens to That me. happens all the time. You see, and I think the council and the mayor mm -hmm. have not stepped in to control that. And a lot of these people, especially when I saw the FBI lists, I kind of, I said like this to the, to the, once sitting in office, mm -hmm. I said, okay, well, they're going to have to put their names anyway. Mm -hmm. But when I started look, looking at those, the plant, the engineering department head, and so on and so forth, and I said, I hope they bust your ass because you've done that stuff to many people, mm -hmm. and you've played politics to many, mm -hmm. and you've threatened many. Mm 
and now it's your chance to sing. But that's what happens when you get a new council member there. Don't forget, hey, they have to return the favor to their cañoneros. So then they start. What's a cañonero? People they pay uh, to vote for them, or they promise them jobs, right? So. So then, in other words, you're you're so, saying that you have to. So if somebody helps you, you're gonna promise them a well, job. That's not me. No, that's not me. But the other candidates, um, you know, they um, they put in their buddies in those departments. They move around. Okay, you know what? Give me five positions. Give me 50 positions. Why? So I could hire, you know, my friends that help me out. That to me, it's a slap in the face for anybody that's attended Tammy U and gotten a degree. No, Let's I'm, go I'm, hire the, the, the graduates from Tammy U. Why are we giving $14 an hour have, job to waste. someone that has a high school degree? Uh, Ms. Benugli, we have a waste of money, in, especially in the rec centers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, that there's a wasted space that could be done as preventative programs for our youth that is not mm-hmm. being mm-hmm. touched. They sing and dance and they do la 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 that we're doing, yeah. but they're not doing diddly squat. Well, that's what that's as a business owner, I want to utilize one person that 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 could bring a lot to the table. If I'm paying you fourteen dollars, you're not just going to be sitting there so I could pay the other one ten, the other one ten dollars, the other one. No, 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 no. We want. That's the problem with with like, with the city is that they think that employing a lot of people with the city is a wonderful thing. Are you kidding me? That's with our taxpayers' money. How are you going to turn in one dollar to ten? Not how am I going to spend the money? Okay. We want to be able to to utilize our taxpayers' money wisely and you know unfortunately if i were to go into the city i would evaluate every department and see evaluate every employee and see how 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 um how worthy they are and if they if they qualify hey you know what if you're getting 14 dollars the hour then you should be doing this this and this you know we got to use our our resources wisely and we have to hire people that not only could do just one job but could do two and three that to me, as a as an employer, uh, a, a caregiver that could do more than that can wear more than one hat, is very valuable, and and then they deserve those fourteen, fifteen, or thirty grand, fifty five, uh, fifty five grand a year. Um, I don't want to be paying a secretary forty five thousand and then be paying a receptionist, you know, thirty thousand. That's that's money gone to waste. That's as a business owner. I mean, I want to see how I could, I, I how I could make what I have and, 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 and use it wisely and, and, and effectively. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I understand exactly what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And I think there's a lot of um, waste, you know, wasteful spending. Um, you know, it goes back to, you, you got what, to treat you, it like to, if it's your money. If it was my you, money, what, I would not spend a million dollars on a statue. Are you kidding me? You know what we could do with those million dollars? What Why statue? Some statues that they were going to build for a million dollars. Which one? Which one was the one that they were going to build for a million dollars? I don't know, but there's a lot of wasteful money. They they gave themselves raises. Why would you give yourself raises? I mean, if you are doing it as a public servant, you're not doing it for the money. Mm-hmm. Why why would they increase their discretionary funds without the taxpayers' consent? You know, one of the things that I have to commend the sheriff and the Webb County is that they put... Proposition A, they, they gave us the opportunity to vote for it. And we spoke loud about it, mm-hmm. right? But, but nevertheless, that's democracy at work. And it was a very fair thing for them to put it on the, on the ballot but and you let know, us but decide. Pe- but the people also spoke, because you and the group were very, very vocal and placed a lot of uh, agendas to be for the city char- charter to change. And some were changed and some were not. You know, mm-hmm. the people spoke out. Mm-hmm. So what would you like to be changed now that needs to be changed now that you've seen? In the charter and what yeah, aspect? Yeah, in, in the charter, period. In the charter, I think, one, uh, in order for you to qualify as a candidate, you need a bachelor's degree. Okay. That's for, I mean, no offense to anybody that didn't get the opportunity, um, but I got educated with financial aid. My parents were poor. Um, if I worked full time, I was able to get myself educated thanks to the government. Um, but we cannot have people with only a high school degree handling a million dollar budget. Mm-hmm. You need some sort of, and, and, and college doesn't make us smarter, but you know what it gives us? It, it shows us discipline. 
It shows us to be disciplined and how to be responsible. So, so it, it, it provides, uh, you know, college is, 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 it benefits us mm. one way or another. Okay, what, uh, what else? And so we need someone, okay, uh, with, a ba- with a bachelor's degree, minimal a bachelor's degree in anything. But as long no, as you did you, a four-year degree. Let, let me put it to you this way. I know plenty that have been there prior to this council, this council, and ones before that have bachelors, that have colleges, and they're as stupid as a doorknob. Mm. Okay, so that, okay. Okay, but so one of the qualifications one. would be your uh, uh, bachelor's degree. Another mm-hmm. one would be no criminal convictions. Of course. You cannot have a criminal conviction as an adult. If you're arrested, okay, you have the opportunity to prove yourself that you're innocent. But if you have a conviction, that's it. You're staying no, under, understand, for understand. life. Understand. I, it's like... I can't hire anyone that has a criminal conviction. I mean, you try, should, you should, work. Should we have drug Drug tests? testing should also mm-hmm. be a, a must. Let's drug test the, the council members. And of course. You know, just like in any other position, um, if you want to get a job with, with, um, with as a federal agent, if you mm-hmm. want to get a job as a border mm-hmm. patrol, a teacher, you want to get a job as a nurse, a doctor, everything. Now, under medical drugs, would you put those in there as well? Um, if they're prescribed medication by your physician, I don't think there's a problem with that. Okay. Okay, but if, if you're abusing illegal drugs... If, you have, uh, if you're taking prescription drugs because you're not right in the head and you need to balance yourself off. No, there's, um, if, there's a difference between, uh, like, if you're sick from a cold and if you're, if you're suffering from, um, you know, some sort of chemical imbalance. And, and that, the doctor, if a doctor prescribes medication, then that is okay. I mean, I don't think there's a problem with it. But, however, if you're abusing illegal drugs, then, no, it's not okay. And you shouldn't be there. And if you have a conviction, you shouldn't be there. And if you don't have a, high, a, a college degree, you shouldn't be there. Be there. Like okay. that, we would already eliminate a lot of bad apples. If we, A, drug test them. So a bad B, apple is somebody that didn't go to college. No, no. I, let me rephrase that. We would eliminate a lot of candidates that are unqualified. Okay. I would look at this. I would put people that have business experience because mm-hmm. you need to negotiate, number one. That's okay? true. Okay? Um, and you have to be able to understand and comprehend some of these contracts that are being brought forth. Mm-hmm. Okay? And that's number one. Yeah. And that's something, now you bring a good point up. I think that if you have established yourself in the community, whether you don't have a degree or not, let's go back to that. Maybe you don't have a degree, you mm-hmm. didn't have the opportunity, but hey, look, you are pre- a president of your own business, you have a business, you, you've you built an empire, you've made credit into to positive, you made negative into a positive, you've turned a penny into $100. Now, if that should, I mean, I think it speaks volumes about a person. If you've able right. to build an empire on your own, um, it does speak volumes and, and it shows the ec- expertise. Understood. Okay. How about this? What happened to this street maintenance fee? Were you for or against it? Oh, that? against, against. I, I, hate, I hate paying extra. I already pay enough. I, I think we all pay enough taxes at the end of the year. I have to pay so many taxes, and I always get in the worst mood ever when I have to fork up three six thousand dollars. No, 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 no. It's it's um it's a uh, it's a pain in the you know what and and street maintenance. Uh, if they give each other, if each council member has six hundred thousand in discretionary funds, this the maintenance should should be part of their discretionary funds. Not don't charge us more. But why do they want to charge us more? Why do they want to ta- tax the taxpayers more but on go, something that they already have money for? But it didn't go through. So thank God, thank God it didn't go through. I would have been very upset. I probably canceled my trash can service and just burned my trash or something. Because <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to pay more. And uh, no, 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 no. They have enough money. Laredo is very rich. No, who? What other city has the income of the bridge? They have enough money that they can allocate and use for maintenance, for street maintenance. And that should be included in the discretionary funds. Instead of spending the money on personal stuff, you know, use it on, on what the what citizens need. Understood. Now, tell us, last thing before we get off the air, 
what do you want from Laredo now? I want Laredo to wake up. And I think we already, a lot of us have already, um, we're coming into realization and thanks to social media, um, a lot of uh, people that weren't involved before are now becoming aware of what's going on. Before you didn't have Facebook, you didn't have social media, nobody knew what was going on in the city council. Now they share videos of what goes on and now the people are getting more involved and, and they're getting angry because they're saying, hey, why are you charging me more for this and why do we have this guy there? And I think that's a wonderful thing that now, whether you're politically involved or not, but you're thanks to up. social media, they're becoming aware of what what, what's going on? We have a different voter now mm -hmm. than we did 15 years ago, mm -hmm. okay? Even 10 years ago, where it was one-sided. It was mm -hmm. the type the person called, and they said, if you did not vote for this person, your nephew would be fired. Or your nephew would not have a job. So everybody had to vote for that one person, even mm -hmm. if the nephew was the biggest dork it was. You know, you could you know, mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, we do not have that bullying of the politicians and these department heads, mm -hmm. and people are saying, and we "Well, just, they're still and, there. They're still no, there. No, don't no, get me no, wrong. no, they're, they're still there." But what I'm the saying thing is, about me is that all my family's employed. Luckily, if I get it elected, I don't. I'm not gonna hire my prima, my primo, my friend's wife, my friend's husband. All of my family, gracias a Dios, we're all employed and we're doing well. And that that's not a situation <laughs> that you'll see. But it happens. They, they get elected. And all of a sudden, you know, all these other family members are yeah, working we've seen, for them. Listen, I've seen it. I've seen it both in county and city. Uh, I've seen it more in the county than the city. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure it does work. I'm, I'm pretty mean, sure. But, uh, you know, you see that. And what I'm trying to say is you don't have that bullying. This is what happened Tuesday. People woke up and said, you know what? No more. It was amazing. amazing no more. Turnout. I mean, I you feel know, far, sorry for all my sheriff friends and and the main and, and, I spoke, and the, I, and the I, sheriff. I, so sorry, sheriff, but not with our money. I, I, get grants for that. Do we need a new jail? Perhaps we do, but I think we rather I rather invest the money in child care. We could train preventative our, our, measures. Yeah, we. I mean, that's a return on our investment. How are we going to get a return on our investment by investing in housing criminals like luxury? No, that's not a return in my investment. Return on my, you want to train? Let's train caregivers, teachers, uh, uh, the preschools. I mean, we're being neglected, and yet we have the most important job, which is to ensure that those kids are school ready. And uh, where's all the funding for that you know where you know you know how well we could benefit by investing in american children they're our future and if we don't invest in them then we're going to end up with people like Vidal. that well i don't know i don't know personally but, so, yeah. right, make a committee making mistakes when they get when well, they mistakes, get older mistakes are mistakes made that cost them but that mistake mistakes that he made. did to himself cost him I didn't do nothing to uh, him. He listen, did it to himself. I do not know B Vidal from this wall. I've never but met him before. But it's an example. It will, it will, I think that if we invest in our children and training um, caregivers, and, and there's a lot of working moms out there that cannot afford child care. But let me tell you this way. Not only if, because the story is that he worked for a, for a justice of the peace, right? Where did he work for? He was a court coordinator. For, for a justice of the peace, correct? Mm -hmm. That justice of the peace should also be reprimanded. Because he allowed that to happen. Yeah. Okay? And he's not being reprimanded. This came out of your office. You're the one that's wrong. Not the one that's in the computer going... Well, I, you I, are the I one really, overseeing I the whole Judge thing. I Jenny Dominguez, but I did tell him, hey, what's going on in your office? Where are you? Hey, if what I happened were in you, his office? If I were you, I would have come in and said... And and every and clean house, each and everybody, evaluation. Let's see, how how valuable are you to me? If you're just going to be there scratching your butt, looking up people, then you're not valuable to me. Vámonos. But, I mean, I mean, I love Judge Dominguez. He has my support. But, yeah, I mean, that happens. They need to, they need to have qualified, educated individuals that, 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 are, that you know, won't see, break the law. You see, when, if, if or use, you're an owner of your business, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. 100%. What happens if a teacher of yours is taking care of a little boy, girl, and pulls her hair and does this and says no? And all of a sudden, 
Oh, Who's responsible for that? Me. Mm-hmm. I am. Okay, so you're Judge Dominguez. So you're the one that should be responsible for the little guy going in the tech and on the keyboard. Exactly. Understand what I'm saying? Yep. You are responsible for your employee. Exactly. And exactly. And what, if, what, if that would have so happened, happened in my situation, so what happened I have to, to him? call LPD, myself, make a report myself, call uh, CPS for abuse and neglect, and I guarantee you that that individual or anybody that does that, in child child care will never get a job ever in child care just like him he abused his power it's like i mentioned it keeping him on the council is like me keeping someone that has be, an abused a child well not yes well. it's abuse of power abuse look up the definition abuse is abuse okay he abused his position as a car, car, car coordinator why are we going to keep him if he already abuses power? It's like me keeping someone that's been convicted of child abuse. I understand. That's what we need to change. That's, the that's what we need to change the metaphor, charter now. You know? That's what we need to change the charter now. Yeah, we do. We need to. Uh, we need and some great so, council members um, up there. So and I how, know what's the process there. to change? They need to put more teeth in that charter. No, no. That, I'm, I'm right. So what is the process to change the charter? Do you know it? Um, I don't know exactly. I just know that one of the council members needs to bring it up and they all need to vote on it. To change it. Yeah. So, well, the council members or the mayor could put it on the on, on an agenda, mm-hmm. bring it up and say, okay, let's, let's um, you know, let's make these changes. And if they have the vote, they have the power and the ability. And if not, they, if they don't do that, can it go into a referendum? I have no idea. I don't know. Um, at this point, the council has the majority of the power. You saw how it went down the other night. So... If they vote on it, they have the ability to change. They change to make this this place a better place, without it gain, without them gaining personally. I think that the mentality they need to not take it like, how am I going to get out of it personally, personal gain? No, no, no. How are we, the city, going to improve? How are we going to make this better for our children? You know, how are we going to work together like a team, like a positive team? You know, not a team that we're against each other. Listen, throwing things at each other. No, 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 no. That's not Listen, what Ms. Benuki, um, one, one thing that we have here is uh, when you all were changing, you all wanted to change a stronger mayor than, than city manager. Don't say you all, because I wasn't part of, I'm not part of anything. I'm just part, I'm myself. I'm someone that's going to just well, you, support you, whatever there I was, You were right. part of the group that was trying to change it. I wasn't part of the group. I just supported the group. Okay. So you were supporting that. I was supporting that the, that the mayor have a little bit more power. That, yes, Listen, I was supporting the propositions. I, I, like the ma- I like the mayor. He's an excellent man. Great individual. Mm-hmm. He probably would not. If, once, if that would have changed, let's put that in a different spe- spectrum, and say that would have changed, he would have had power. He would have done wonderfully. But let's say mm-hmm. eight years from now, you get somebody like your nemesis yeah, comes Mr. in yeah that understand one of so my what concerns. Who, understand what i'm saying so we can't really just drastically no, change something because no. it'll backfire 10 years 10 from, from now. now understand if so we get someone unethical right. i agree with that 100 so, percent. that was one of my concerns but that i think he should vote yes and that i think that but that he does vote he, right now he's a tiebreaker he's a tiebreaker um, now he was able to put but items he knows on the that agenda, from, which for is great. Going into it and running for office and going for that position, you knew that beforehand. So you can't get there and say, you know what, I want to change because I want no. Mm. You you got that, and that's that's your power. But he he I has would, a but he has the power that not all of them have because he has a bar to balance everybody mm-hmm. together. So I think he should start doing that. And is he not? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think the council right now, it's worse than Betty Flores when she was in office. It's very divided, so, and it's sad to see. It's very sad to see for our community. You know, the, the, first, time, the, the, first, the first time I saw a little bit of unity was when Raul Salinas, Mike Garson, all them came into, into that first year. I said, man, they're probably going to be doing something. And all of a sudden, it's like mm-hmm. if somebody broke glass and everybody went all over the place. So what are, how embarrassing! So you it's know it embarrassing. is embarrassing. It's it is embarrassing. embarrassing. They're acting like high school kids. There shouldn't be a division. Everyone should be working together, regardless if we have the same beliefs in policies. But nevertheless, it should be teamwork, and it, they should be working all together, all nine of them, including the mayor. Okay. Bottom line, of course. the division is is sad. It's very sad, and I think we could get more accomplished if everyone just worked together. Or learn to agree not to disagree. Yeah, learn to agree not to, and, and don't hold grudges. You know, everybody has their, you know. But you see it in the department heads. You you see stuff from 10, 20 years ago, and you see the same mm-hmm. people 
coming back. But it starts at the top. If the council mayors are fighting, if no. the councils are fighting it doesn't with children. Start, well, it should start at the top, correct. I mean, lead by example. But it's a department heads. The department, the department's doing all over the place, and the department's heads are the ones doing it. Okay? Well, we're not going to change it. I want to wish you good luck in your upcoming race. Thank you. Move forward. Keep on going. Yes. I'm and a fighter. Do, you and, know and, it. You and, know uh, me, Paul. And we'll take it Daddy from Daddy didn't raise no fool. And I have a little girl that's looking up to me. And that is what keeps me going. And all the children that I service at my center, Kinder Club Learning Center on Concord Hills, they are my future. I want our future to be in good hands. Exactly. Whatever I have to do, I'm going to do to ensure that they have a wonderful future here in Laredo, Texas. The lovely city of Laredo. It's a wonderful city, and and it, 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 it's going to get better. It, it should get better, Eventually. and it's going to get better. And uh, people like you that want to stand up, I commend you for that. Thank you, Paul. I commend, I commend you for going forward. I commend the others that run. Every person that writes their name down mm -hmm. there, you're standing up for the community. Thank it's you all. It's a tough thing, yes. Thank and, you. And uh, if you win or not win, that's just the way it is. You tried. At least you tried. Okay. And, um, well, good, good luck. Thank you, Paul. Until next time, we'll see you in the next